Hi there. Um, it's been entirely too long since I made a video. Um, hi, Bailey. Yeah, got you on cam to camera now. I know. Um, I'm scrubbing, hanging out in my basement. No, this is not my usual spot, as you know. Um, updates, because I haven't made a video in forever. Um, made a couple mistakes this week. I mean, Cody and I are still together, and that's a good sign, right? I'm not going to go into details about these mistakes, because you already know. And if you don't know, I mean, like, I bet you can guess. Those Mexican boys. I'm just kidding, it wasn't Mexican. Um, what else? Updates. Lucid dreaming. I have been having a couple weird experiences, and, um... Not necessarily lucid, but just weird. A lot of violent dreams and a lot of... about Oscar and whatnot. So, um... I, I've... I've noticed that it's almost like instead, like, instead of going to sleep here, it's like I close my eyes and I wake up there, and then when I go to sleep there, I wake up here. It's like I'm not sleeping at all, and I wake up tired like I haven't slept at all. <laughs> Hence why I'm scrubbing sweatpants and glasses. I mean, I'm scrubbing, um, and it's been happening a lot recently, and um, just a lot of weird dreams about him. And, I don't know, he's really advanced for being, like, a dream character. Like, there's something really fishy about it, because, I mean, like... He's not, like, a normal dream character. He's, like, ridiculously advanced, and he, like, he has a personality, like, a real personality. And he's, like, I've never met him before, like, in my waking life, ever. But he's always there. Like, he's just always there. But, um, I don't know. I've been trying to get back into lucid dreaming, but it's really hard when you don't have time. I mean... God, school is so hard. I don't know how kids do it. Cause I'm, it's, it's ridiculous. I was up till 1.30 in the morning last night doing homework. And, yeah, that's about it. Um, let me think about my other updates. Um, I read a book. I read... What book did I read? I read two books. I read Dr. Jackal. Oh, laundry's done. I didn't. I read Dr. Jackal, which is actually all right. it was all right. I mean, like, it would have been nice if I didn't have to read it. For, I hate reading books for classes because there's like a definite answer. It's like you can't just read it and get a message out of it. You have to read it and get the the mess, same message that everyone else got. And obviously, I, I guess I don't know if I think differently than everyone else or what. Speaking of thinking differently than everyone else, um, I'm officially the weirdo of my family. So, my grandma, she found out about the dream studies. And if you knew my grandma, she's crazy, like, out of her mind. I love her to death. I would do anything for her, but she's crazy, out of her mind. So she thinks I'm, like, possessed by the devil. Like, she honestly does. Like, no joke wants me to go to church with her. And I'm like, well, I mean, God forbid you ask me my views on religion. I'm not an atheist. I just not necessarily a Christian either. I mean, I, I believe, but I'm not like a... I mean, I'm against organized religion, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, it's silly. Like, as opposed to just the one-on-one -on -one connection with God. I mean, like... Or whatever. God is a perception to me. It's, he's not a being. He's a perception. He's an idea that I like. The original. But there's a lot of man-made qualities and uh, emotions to God. Like jealousy. He's a very jealous God. That's a, that's a really human-like quality. Jealousy. And angry. And like the Catholics are like, wrath! Wrath! Even the their cathedrals, like... The architecture is just, fear me. And it's silly. I mean, like, you shouldn't be afraid. Oh, and then her and I got in an argument about, we were talking about heaven and hell, or believing or not, and she was like, well, this and this and this, and I was like, well, what if you're wrong? And she's like, well, if I'm wrong, then I, I will die, 
and nothing will happen after that. And I'm like, okay. She goes, but if I'm not wrong and you don't believe, she goes, I will, <laughs> like, she said that she, if she, okay, backtrack before she says, but if I'm not wrong, but she's like, if I'm wrong, then I would have lost nothing. But if, I, if I'm right and you're wrong, you would have lost everything and you're going to go to hell. So basically what she's saying is that she's believing in God because she doesn't want to go to hell. Because she's afraid to go to hell. That's a terrible reason to believe in God. What's just, what just an awful reason? You're supposed to believe in God because you believe in his, like, his, you like his morals and his ideas and the, and you like something bigger than yourself. You don't believe in God because you're afraid to go to hell. Like, oh, I'm going to believe in him just in case. That's like, I'm going to buy the plan B just in case. I mean, like, I should buy an extra pair of boots just in case. No, religion doesn't work that way. Religion isn't a pair of boots or a, or a, the morning after pill. I mean, like, I don't know. And then, oh, so she thinks I'm like the weirdo of the family. And then my uncle throws me under the freaking bus. And because he does the dreaming kind of stuff too, he doesn't necessarily do the lucid dream studies or like experiments like I do, but um, he's definitely connected with it, I guess you could say, like a, like a distant cousin of it. And um, he decides to throw me under the bus. My grandma corners him, and he starts writing down all these weird quotes. Like he wrote down the quote, it's like, uh, like, dream is death and perfected, and death is dream perfected. And so my grandma loses her mind. She, she swear to God. And I'm always the last to find out that everyone thinks I'm freaking crazy, right? Always the last. <sighs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for telling me. So everyone's been just knowing. Like, everyone just knows. Just, like, all of a sudden. I try to generally keep it a secret from my family because, I mean, like, they're all pretty one-dimensional. But, um, most of them, I mean, I don't know. My grandma's crazy. Speaking of which, the dream studies. I am on fall break officially as of today. So I'm going to make, be making a lot more videos, and I'm going to be meditating a lot, because I so need it. I need it so bad. It's not even funny. My hair is starting to fall out. It turned brown underneath. I'm just kidding. I dyed that. But um, it's starting to fall out. I've thrown up twice. I've broken down and cried about four times this year so far. It's like, <laughs> I'm so stressed. It's not even funny. I don't have time to dream. I don't even, like, when I do dream... I go to the other world. I'm not having, I'm not exploring, I'm not being lucid, and it kills me. It kills me inside. Terrible. And, um, I'm not doing anything tonight, so I think I'm going to meditate. That's what I'm going to do tonight. Um, I got a hemp bracelet. Juwan made it for me. It smells really bad because when it gets wet, it smells like butthole. But I mean, like, it looks cool, right? I don't know. Maybe that's why people have been avoiding me lately. I smell like butthole hemp. That's all right, right? Right? All right. Another update. Um, what else have I been doing lately? What have I done lately? I ate a lot of candy. I've gained a lot of weight. Um, read a couple books. I haven't really done much after that. I, uh, getting my driver's license in, like, a week. Way overdue, right? I'm, like, turning 18. I don't have my driver's license yet. Actually, I'm not turning 18 until September. So a year from now, I mean, like, <laughs> I know I suck. But still, I'm, like, 17. I don't have a license. I'm a senior in high school, and I don't have a license. I was like, come on. But I'm finally getting it, like, next week. And, um... Pretty excited. I mean, like, not really, but I kind of am. But, like, I'm kind of not. I'm like, I don't really care. I just want to be able to drive downtown and go see Cody or Zed. Other than that, I mean, I wouldn't even drive downtown. I'd just drive to the light rail station and park and then... Because you have to pay to park at this dorm. So, I mean, like, I might as well just ride the light rail and then take the... Or ride to the light rail and then take the light rail down to his dorm. And then back. And then, I mean, because you park for free at Nine Mile. I think. I think you do. I think you could park for free. It's like I'd be there overnight. I mean, like, I'd just go there for a couple hours and come back. I mean, like, that's kind of cheap. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be cheaper if you didn't have to pay to park at his dorm. But you do. It's like five bucks. So, I mean, 
I might as well just pay like 350 for my ticket for all day on the light rail as opposed to five bucks just to park down there. I mean, silly. Um, and plus I don't have a job, so I mean, like, I should probably get on that. I've been looking and no one is hiring. And, um, literally, like, no one. Mm, I can't think of any other updates. I went on a photography trip. I don't know if I told you guys. I don't think so. And I went up to the mountains up in uh, Estes Park. And I got a lot of good photos. I I would post them, but I mean, like, I don't really know how. And my laptop, I got a laptop for my birthday officially one month ago as opposed, or as of yesterday. And my laptop's been in the shop since then. It's been done for, like, two weeks, but we just haven't gotten, went and gotten it. But I don't have, like, Wi-Fi, so I mean, like, what's the point of me even having it? I can't type a paper and send it to, like, my teacher, and I can't print it because I'm going to get the laptop. <laughs> like, I can't make videos. It has, like, a webcam, and it was really cool. I'm, like, I can't make videos and just, like, put it on YouTube because, I mean, like, there's no internet. I mean, I play chess on it. That's kind of cool, right? Um, that's about all I have to say. I I literally I I'm so bored. But this week I'm gonna have a lot more lucid updates. Um Yeah. So thank you all for listening. Yes. Goodbye.